Uh, now we can refocus without the bag there. All right. Let's let's pretend like that never happened. Not the death. I'm talking about the golden bag. Sometimes you want a decision to be made for you. That was one of those times. Let's press on here. Now we can play ball. Now we can play ball like Cerso was meant to play ball. That's going to haunt me, though. I'm just letting you know. The tale of Cerso and the golden bag. There's been a lot of positive Cerso stories and a lot of lore. But that's one that's going to haunt Cerso for a long time. It really is. I, I mean, I can't, I can't even get it out of my head. Like, I'm going to go to bed at nights. And I'm going to see something something twinkling in the corner. It's it's going to be a pillow, a golden pillow sack. And part of it's going to say, hey, Dan, if you open this. You're going to fly to Kingston. And get food poisoning for two weeks. But there's a small chance there's something in the in the bag that you're never going to use. But I'm I still have a desire to open the bag. That's kind of that's kind of where we're at right now. Like I can't even focus on the high pollutancy that Cerso needs to be acquiescent. But we got to get there. All right. I would like, though, at some point, like, now that I, like, I'm trying to move on. I would like, if someone could tweet me, like, an actual explanation of what that was. So I can learn from it. One thing Cerso does do, he learns from his opportunities. And so I, I just wasn't informed enough to make that decision on my own. This is what a lot of people say. Yeah, sure, it's pawning it off. But at least I'm pawning it off with some truthfulness. As opposed to... Non-truthfulness. Alright, let, let's get these clowns out of here. I don't know where the Black Knight came from. I, I'd like another shot at him, though. John Romero's, excuse me. I only talked to John Carmack. Weakness fatty. There he is. Sometimes you can sense it. And sometimes you can actually sense it. What? The curse of the golden bag. <laughs> All right, I got greedy there. All right, so now we're loosened up. We're ready to go here. Let's go get our Humies. Four Humies on the line here. Or just give me the Humies. Just give me the Humies. Give me the Humies. Rip. I'll take it. I'll take it. It was... The curse of the, the golden bag has come full circle. There's no, there's no other words beyond that. I'm very... Levels of sodium. Probably the highest level of sodium we've reached in this game or possibly ever on the show history. We're at 10.9% sodium level. But I'll tell you what. 
That's when you pick up your your back pocket and you go back to work with your soapstone and your Zumba routines. So this is what Surso does. You want to take away my Humi's fine. Now we play King of the Mountain. You got to come up to my mountain and try and take it from us. Cuz that ain't that's not going to happen. You may get us when we're tilted. But you won't get us when we're straight up. King of the mountain. Come get some. That's what you get. And then we get up here and we sip on the highest mount. And we turn a, a bad a bad lore story that Cersei wanted to, to keep buried in the satchels of life. And we turn it into the story of Cersei on the golden hill. So here's what we're going to do. We only fight enemies on the hill. Including the, the BK. Get these guys out of here. You want to, you want the hill? Come take it. <laughs> Did you see Serso? He metaphysically chucked that wheel across the stage. Exit stage left. Anyone else want some? John Romero. Where's the BK at? Where's the BK? Can I get some BK spam in chat to see where this clown is at? Go prone. That's right. He doesn't even want to come out and challenge the king of the hill. I just heard him drop. Nah, yeah, look at that. He waits in the wake. Like a bad insurance policy. You come to the hill, you better be ready to pay the consequence. You better be willing to pay the consequence. You better be willing to pay the consequence. Thus ends the story of the golden bag. Alright, so we got two directions to go. We're dialed in now. Sometimes Cerso has to break out the golden wave maker. To make a point. Excuse me? Get your children out of here. Skull Lantern. Mm. I kind of, before, I think that may be the right way to go. Let me just double back here real quick. Our gold chain win condition for Dark Souls, by the way. If you're new to the show, there's a, there's a golden chain, 24,000 carat gold. For us to don the gold chain. We have to take out a boss in the first attempt. Is this where the boss is? Or is this the road to perdition? Is that bossy? Or should I go back the other way? Okay. So I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go resip up. Uh, we need the S die. Get out of here. I don't have the patience to kill you guys every time. We got to fight these clowns every time.
Two for one. All right, nice and easy. So at least we, we had a net positive of some souls. But a net negative of one S die. Imminent Charmer. Are you talking Mario? A nice citrine lake. A well sculpted dress. Edward Scissorhands, wrapped in a burlap sack. The Faceless Warrior, from Return to Oz. The music! Pinwheel? Excuse me. There's falsities. I see the fake. Me no conversate with the fake. That part. Is that the real? Which one's the real? Sippy up. That's the real. Get him out of here. <laughs> the hardest boss in the game. You better wake up pretty early in the morning. There's a code of law around here. It says if you take out a boss in one try, you've acquiesced to the ability. To enjoy the gold chain. Let's go. People that said it couldn't be done. This is what Cerso rides out to. This hydraulic laden 1964 Cadillac Coupe de Ville with the top that comes down. <laughs> oh. All right, can we have, before we press on, can we have a little discussion? I'm, I'm not, I'm not calling people out. I just, I just need a fact check. We need a fact check. I'm not going to call out names, but can I get a, can I get a death count of how many times it's taken people in our community to beat that individual?
I wasn't laughing at, and then like you could die to him once, you know, like I get that. But if you die to him twice, I'm just playing. All right. <laughs> All right. Shall we press on here? No, 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 no. Like I could see you you die to him once. Like that's cool. I'm not going to I'm not going to call individuals out. But there's there's it could be fake lore that someone died to him twice. That's what I was laughing at. You could you could die to him once it happens. Mask of the mother. It could be our loved one's mask we've been hunting for. We've been fighting through the whole game just to get a glimpse of her. This may be the closest we ever get. <laughs> Gotta do it. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Flat out disrespect. She's an angel. All right, shall we press on? Imminent giant. Imminent skeleton. What was that boss, by the way? Like... The boss of trash? The TB? Trash boss? It's a boss you can easily reach at the start of the game, really? Ah. Uh, there we go. The Nicom Chromancer is trying to bring his family back to life and got fused with them. <laughs> Maybe, maybe to spend less time fusing and more time not fusing. Right of kindling allows you to bonnie up to 20 S die. Really? Isn't that cheating? What's over here? There's got to be some goods up here, right? No goods? No services? What was the point? Alright, let's press on here. It's part of the game. Why would it be cheating? Because, uh, exclamation point resin in chat. That's why. Ooh, another goldie. But it just got dark all of a sudden. Shortcut ahead. This makes me want me to reach in my back pocket. Didn't we get some kind of uh got some kind of torch or something, right? Can we get a torch? Like a death torch or something like that? Yeah. Skull lantern. Can I can I light that up? LB or LT. It's not lighting it up. What's False cool? advertising, not actually a lantern.
What? All the way back here. I thought we were supposed to get 20 bonnies now. All right, hey, you know, what? I respect it. I respect it. They want to do, they want to copy Spelunky and their mechanic. Okay. I respect it, but you better respect a two for one sale on all bone wheels at Shoppers Mart, Canadian's version of Costco. You better respect it because it's coming. You burn more Humies for 20 Bonnies. That doesn't sound like a good deal to me. I want free 20 Bonnies. Go change your stream name. Excuse me. All right, so let's press forward. We just took out this this boss. We're gonna go back into Dark Town, the town where every light bulb was smashed of incandescency. What is this thing? Can I get some lore? Skull Lantern of the Catacombs. This lantern alights the Tomb of Giants. Nido, light devouring domain of death, serves as a fire damage strike weapon. I guess we got to look eight inches in front of every step. Look at those. That's falsity. How we know we're supposed to know where to go? Just out here living the life. Block with it? Oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, look, I, I, I can't point the finger. If, if we are fooled in such a simple way, we deserve the iron price. That's all right. You could fool Sursa once. But you got to remember, Sursa wasn't raised with a shield. He was raised with Harvey's... All right, look. I, I got to be honest, when we reach levels, we just lost 20,000 souls. Some humies. We've reached, I, I got to just put it on the line right now. We've reached peak levels of sodium. We're at 11% an all-time high. Learn how to block. Cerso doesn't block. That, I think that's the problem. You don't understand. He doesn't block. Block with the lantern. How do I... Left button. I'm hitting the left... Kidding me? I'm gonna throw that down the toilet. He doesn't. He doesn't need the lantern. We're gonna do it lantern free. <laughs> How would you like that? Lantern free. We don't need light. We don't even need oxygen. Look at that, we sense it. 
You sense the wheels of bone. <laughs> I'll tell you, this, this may be Miyazaki's finest work. Making you go through a channel of death wheels. We're gonna beat this game, speed run any percentage with a limited tank of oxygen. <laughs> Alright, let's press on here. Lantern equals resin. It's, it's in the same family, I'll tell you that right now. If you use the lantern in this area, you kidding me? At least, I mean, if that's, we're going to do such a, a thorn forward like move. We're bringing Harvey's gavel with us. Going in the dark, boys. If there was a bonfire here, I would do this entire level in the dark. But it's just getting back here. Get that out of here. I need that vine song. When it goes run, <laughs> you can see the eyes. We put the lantern. Is there? A, is there a, a Bonnie around here? Enjoy the lavish. You see how that head spun around? That's when they know who's coming to town here. Once we get the Bonnie, I'm putting the lantern away. I promise you that. We're going lantern free ball here. That's what we do. We take risks out here. What? Sip up. <laughs> I'm telling you. I don't trust this lantern. I want no part of it. I want no part of it, but I'll, but I'll, if you're going to give me two for one, I'll take one for two. Cerso lives on the edge for a reason. Oh, you better run for your monies. All right, let's press on here. They're all alternatives to the lantern. I just want to get a Bonnie in there, then I'm I'm gonna destroy the lantern. Uh, one hundred percent. That's the way the game was intended to play. No lantern. <laughs> all 
All right, where were we? We were down here, right? We double back. We double back and drop. Run. I've been practicing with the blade. Alright, was there anything else good? Yeah, we gotta go get our soulsies. I know it's just a few soulsies, but it's... It's a thought that counts. We fight in the dark because they can't blot out the sun. Is this how this is going to be? Is this what Miyazaki wanted? Is that what he wants? He wants you to fight people in the dark? Is that his, is that his dream of a game? Oh yeah, it's fun. Jump scares, ah. Okay, that's what you want. That's what we're going to give you. Look at that. You know who invented skirt? It wasn't Nelly. It was Sursa. <laughs> All right, let's press on it. I think I think we played the no light meta long enough. Let, let's we're gonna we'll give you some dial in here. <laughs> Dialing in is deserveth here. All right, let, uh, let me use the old. I'll play this for real now. I respect it. Not respect it enough. All right, let's go, boys. All right, so do we want, let's double back here because I think there's going to be some good stuff here. But if we got to use the lantern, we got to use the lantern. I'm okay with that. There's two of them here. Okay, I see you. Camera lock, please. Thank you. Get smashed. All others cash on delivery, please. That's kind of spooky, man. I, I actually like it. I respect it. But I will not bend the knee to it. Ooh, how do we get up there? All right. Take a nice sip. What level is Sir so that he can one hand dragon tooth? Excuse me. I, I'm guessing that you may be new here, which I respect. But this weapon is not called dragon tooth. It's called Harvey's gavel. And so I'll let that one go for free. But if you disrespect Harvey's gavel like that again, there will be iron price to pay. What's the eye of death? Looks fairly interesting. You know what? How do I how do I destroy an item? It's taking up a valuable spot. Lure phantoms from other worlds. All right, let's press on here. So we got it. We got everything we needed. Let's slide down the DMs here. Harvey's gavel. Dragon's tooth is pretty big. Give me light. And Cerso said there shall be light. 
in a 1v1 situation. I want to sip here. We got to find safety. Safety and numbies. I see red eyes. He had golden eyes. This is madness. This is actual madness. <laughs> I trust... Ryan? Do we fight him? Good day. You look reasonably sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? <laughs> are you a cleric or something? Uh, yes or no? I know Ryan's been keeping a close eye on Sir So Yeet. But this, this is a little bit too much. Yes, I guessed as much. Well, here's a tip. There's a stash of treasure right down that hole. <laughs> I found it first, but well, you're the cleric, right? Yes. I you for all that uh, praying and whatnot. I'll give you first pick. Well, go on. Have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> e you tempt us with the treasure We're gonna take it every time Can we talk to him more? There That hole Take a closer look Alright, please Bonnie first I'll, I'm gonna look in the hole Where's the Bonnie? I'll Bonnie first, and then I'll give this guy his, his due. So there's one meta I allow. It. It's it's Bonnie. It's Bonnie meta. Reason being, it's for the efficiency of the show. All right. All right. Now, now we unleash the dragon. Like Cisco's first hit single. All right. What hole does this guy speak of? Excuse me? What do we do to you? Cleric. You're worse than maggots. You must be loaded. I'll strip your corpse clean. <laughs> I want to know right now. Do we get another shot at this guy? I want okay, cause I will annihilate him. I hear dogs. I don't need two skull lanterns. But if I did, here's what it would look like. <laughs> Where's the other scully? The scully, I got scully and now I got molder. You can't get dubs? It won't it won't let you block with the righty. LT. LT in chat, please. I tried. I tried to do something that they, they want you to do. I want a shot of that guy is what I want. Are you related to him? You're no hollow, are you? 
Maggie Gyllenhaal. It's Maggie. There were two fierce Maggie. Far from here, they were once brave knights, my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing, nothing at all to be done? You'll know what I please thee. End her. There he is. I saw him. I saw the bald. That's what's gonna happen to what? Right in the dome piece. Right in the go galoshes. We fight in the dark because that's what we were given. I'm going to hit Maggie incidentally. We took that damage because of Maggie. Get out of here. Go back to Game of Thrones. Brand of Tanth. <laughs> you banished those two hollows, did you? It pains me to think of the trouble my failings have caused. I am certain that both Vince and Nico are grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Here, these belonged to them. You deserve them more than I. Why aren't replenishment? I am certain. Should we end her? Should we end her? <laughs> Bram of Thanth. She almost got us killed. She's a vendor? I'm All right. You so You're welcome, Maggie. Maybe you spent a little bit more time on your craft. You'd be better than your brother Jacob. At the fine arts. All right, let's 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 press forward here a little bit. Walking in the halogen life beams. What's on that dancing on the wall there? It's moving a bit, bit close. It's a totem. Now I'm on the top and everybody on the screw. Never mind. Wait, isn't that from Dark Souls 3? They stole it from Dark Souls 3. One hit, one D. Get that out of here. Alright, so there's an exit. Look at those Swedish meatballs. I want to make sure we didn't miss any secrets here. It does look like the cactus dude from Super Mario Brothers 2. Treasure ahead. Ah. What were those flames? Oh! While you were training in the flame, I became one. I respect it. But Harvey's gavel will reject it. What? We had a little hubris on that one, a hard F. We'll take a hard F for Brand of Tart. It's a good segue point. <laughs>